In this project, we'll be showing you how to build a Telegram bot to access ChatGPT's chat abilities, image generation features, and we'll also integrate voice chat with our Telegram bot. We'll be using NA10 as the main tool to implement this functionality. So first, what is NA10? Simply put, it is a low-code open source automation tool that allows you to build fast. This means that you can automate repetitive tasks and processes without having to write a lot of code. NA10 also offers hundreds of integration with popular services and tools, similar to its competitors Zapier and Make.com. One of the powerful new features of NA10 is the Langchain integration. This makes it easy to build applications that use large language model AI, giving you even more power and flexibility to automate your workflows. One of the most useful aspects of NTN is the extensive library of integrations. With hundreds of pre-built connectors, you can easily integrate favorite services and apps, including popular tools like Slack, Telegram, which is what we'll be using for this project, Google, Notion, and many more. It means that you can automate workflows and streamline processes without having to write a lot of code. And you can also integrate new AI-powered abilities right into those workflows. Another thing I like about NA10 is that the source code is available on GitHub. This means that anyone can get access to the source code, make modifications, and contribute back to the project. More importantly, it can draw upon the innovation and contributions of a wide and vibrant community to update new features with speed and velocity. Additionally, it provides a sustainable use license. NA10 can be hosted either locally on your desktop or on a compute service of your choice. This gives you complete control over your data and workflows and allows you to customize NA10 to use your specific needs. If you don't want to worry about setting up and managing your own NA10 instance, there's also an easy to use cloud service available. For a monthly subscription, you can get full access to a hosted version of NA10 that is fully managed and maintained by the NA10 team. This can be a great option if you're just starting with work or workflow automation, or if you don't have the time or resources to manage your own instance. So how will we use NA10 to build our chat GPT Telegram bot? Let's first do an overview of the bot's capabilities with a quick demo. What are some fun things to do in Tokyo, Japan? Okay, let's get building. In the first part of our project build, we're going to hook up the core ChatGPT Q&A abilities to Telegram. Starting from left to right in our workflow, I'm going to have a Telegram trigger that would be called anytime a user chats with our bot. Next, in the middle of this workflow, we're going to call into ChatGPT with the user input and then have the large language model then reply and respond to Telegram. Lastly, on the right is our Telegram node that then replies to the user back into the chat session. Before we do that, we first need to get a Telegram access token. So there's three simple steps. Uh, the first is from your Telegram account, start conversation with this bot father. So it's going to look something like this to your right. Next, once you have the conversation started, go to the um, go to the conversation and type slash new bot to create our bot. We'll have to name the bot, and then uh, we'll have access to the token. So this is what it will look like uh, when uh, the bot replies. So uh, you'll, you'll have an access token. So we want to save that access token information uh, so that we can use it later. So I'm going to start in my home screen for NA10. I'm going to add a workflow. And the first note I'm going to add is my Telegram trigger. So I'll search for Telegram. And here, I want a trigger to be called every time a message is displayed. All right, so I have this 
uh, note here that I will then add my credentials. So you go into here, I've already added my access token. So you should have uh, gotten that when you created your bot. So you just enter into here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Telegram uh, application, and then I'm going to send a message. And I'm, I'm going to listen for this event. The reason why I want to do this is because then I want to uh, get all the different all the different variables that I'll need for Telegram to pass into ChatGPT. All right, so I'm listening for the event now, and then I'm, I'm going to go to my Telegram, and I'm just going to say, hi. So what this uh, has done is that I was listening to my Telegram, uh, and then uh, it got the event, and now I have this information. It has the name and the text that was passed, all right? So now I'm going to go back to my canvas, and I'm going to add my next node, which is my chat GPT mode, node. So I'm going to have a chat action, and I'm going to create a completion, all right? This completion is effectively how I'm going to call into chat GPT for um, for, for the large language model to understand and reply. So again, I will go into my OpenAI credentials and I input my API key and save this node. So now I have this. I'm going to next add in the prompt. So I, I want a, uh, a user prompt and I'm going to pass into it the text here. So I'm just going to drag into here and I have the text. OK, so whenever a message is sent, it's going to uh, the trigger node will send me this information. And then I'm going to call OpenAI, and then I'm going to pass it this information. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and execute this. And then, as you can see, it has an output. All right. So now the last part is I'm going to add my Telegram response. So again, here, I'm going to uh, send a message here, all right? So whenever this node is executed, it's going to send a message. And I'm going to get the chat ID. So this chat ID is uh, the, the chat session that this bot is communicating. So I'm going to go into my previous node, which is a trigger, which has this chat ID. So I'll go and drag it off here. And then I'll go back to my previous node which is the OpenAI one, and then the message content. This is the re response that I want to send back to the user. All right, so I'll go ahead and execute that. And as you can see, it's responded. All right, now I'm going to activate my workflow uh, so that it can uh, communicate with uh, my Telegram bot uh, on a continuous basis. So I will go ahead and turn this button on. And then now I'll go back to my Telegram, and then I'll ask it. So this will execute my workflow, and it will go to ChatGPT's interface and give me some results. All right, so I have a full functional ChatGPT interface all within Telegram. Now, in a, just a, a few short um, nodes, I'm able to implement this functionality. Pretty cool. Let's now look at part two. We're going to add image generation abilities to our Telegram bot. For the user to indicate that they would like to generate an image, the user will start typing slash image, then followed by the image description. Now, let's look at this diagram. We're going to add something called a check command node. This is what you see as the second node on the left side. If we detect in that check command, that the command starts with slash image, we're going to route it into this image node. Then we're going to send this image to Telegram. If instead we detect that it is not a command, we will go to our chatbot mode by default and then send to Telegram as text. OK, I'm going to start by adding my uh, check command. So this is using a switch node. So this switch determines um, what are the conditions. So I'm going to uh, um, take the condition from uh, from the user 
uh, of the, the strings of what they've typed, whether it be slash image or it's just uh, regular uh, text into the chat. So uh, this value here will come from uh, the Telegram text field. So we'll, we'll do that next. But I'm just going to start adding these rules. So the first rule is that if it equals slash image, then I'm going to output zero. So that means that when I detect this image, I'm going to uh, go to this route, zero. Right? And then the next thing is that if I don't do that, if I if it does not equal slash image, so this is the case where uh, text, I'm going to put one. All right. So what this will do is now it's created these two paths. Okay. So let me let me delete this part here first. So whenever something happens, a message happens, it can uh, go with one of two paths. The first is through zero, which is slash image, right? And then one is if it's not image, then we go, we're going to generate this text here. Okay. So I'll shape this a little bit better here, and then I'm going to now uh, say I'll copy this here. And this is going to be instead here my image generation. So slash image. If the user types this, I'm going to go to this path. Okay. So let's open this up. Now I'm going to select this image and create. Okay, so we'll uh, hook up the prompt next, but we're going to just create this. Uh, use the doll, Dolly three model. So this is uh, Open AI's latest. Uh, image generation models. So we'll select this, and then the re response format. We're just going to ask it to return a image URL. All right, and we'll take one image, and the resolution is 1020 by 24. All right, so let's now connect this here, and then I'm going to add in my next node, which is then my Telegram node to send. A photo message. So let me hook it up first. All right. So this will take the output from the previous node here, and then it's going to then um, it, it's going to then uh, send the the um, image into the Telegram here. All right. Now uh, this is the end-to-end -end flow, but what I'm going to do is now uh, trigger this so that I can get the environment or get the data I need to start hooking things up. Right, so I'm just now going to go uh, to my Telegram app, and then I'm going to uh, initiate this uh, uh, this flow. All right. Okay, I'm uh, back into my Telegram app, and I'm going to select image, a puppy thing. All right. So I'll send this off. Okay, I've sent the Telegram message. Now I'm just going to listen for that event. All right, so it's it took the message that I got from Telegram and it's uh, triggered it, and now I have uh, the, this information that it's sent. So some of the key things are the chat ID. So this is ID of the uh, chat session. The text here is um, the what the user typed. All right, so these are the two key fields. So now I'm going to select this. This is the next node, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of dragging and dropping. Okay, so. I'm going to take uh, the value of this text here. So, so this text will go from here into here. And I'm going to now, if you can see here, it, it already resolves to the fact that I've typed, the user has typed an image or slash image of puppy uh, playing with a cat. Now, I just noticed a, a slight error here. So it's not equals, but rather uh, starts with. Okay. So whenever uh, this value starts with slash image, then I, I'll put zero. But uh, if it uh, doesn't have a slash image in there, then I put, uh, I'll put one. All right. So let's execute on this and, uh, it should give me zero as output. So I'll go ahead and execute that. And as you can see, it's chosen, uh, the zero path, All right? So I've chosen the zero path here. Now I'm going to go to the next node here. So this is, uh, if you, if you go into here, it shows you that it's going to this route. All right. So it's going to execute this. And when I'm in here, I'm going to, uh, just do uh, a little bit of uh, uh, coding here, slight uh, coding, because what I want to do is uh, take this text, uh, but I want to remove the slash image, right? So that uh, that's not uh, part of the prompt. So let me just uh, cut and paste uh, that small bit of code there. All right, so 
it's like that. So basically, uh, all this does uh, is it just re removes slash image, all right? So it removes slash image from this so that we get this prompt. And we're going to execute this node now. And now it's going to uh, use the Dolly 3 model, and it's going to execute that. And then it's going to output a image URL. All right, so let's uh, wait a couple of seconds, and then you'll see the output next. All right, so it revises the the prompt uh, a little bit, and then it gives us a URL. This is the image that is generated. Now I'm going to now send it off. All right, so now uh, this Telegram node to send back, it needs to know what's the chat uh, session ID. So I'm going to go back to here, and I'm going to go to original trigger, all right? And then inside here, I have this chat node, chat ID, all right? So I can do this, and then I'm going to use the photo from the uh, from from this URL here. I'm going to uh, s connect it to here, all right? So that uh, what it's going to do is it's going to respond to my chat uh, session with this ID, which uh, I got uh, from the initial trigger. And then it's going to send back uh, the URL of the image. Right? So then I'll execute this node. And it's going to send that out. And it now has the picture right within my Telegram app. Right? So now we just added in this Telegram app not only a um, chatbot, but the ability to use image generation all within one flow.